it's Diane at Minerva. I hope you're all having a wonderful week and today I'm going to share a make with you for this new look dress. So it's 6347 and what we're going to be making today is version C, this one right here. But as you can see there are other versions to choose from and what we're going to be using is this fabulous exclusive range viscose chalet and this particular design is called Antigua Breeze. So it has these beautiful shades of blue and aqua, coral, a minty green and a beautiful black splash going through it, giving it a wonderful modern edge. So I think this is going to make a gorgeous summer dress. Now, should you wish to sew along with me today, everything will be tagged below. So here's what you'll need to make this garment. The pattern, the fabric and a matching thread. Now before we begin you want to wash and prepare your fabric as you would normally. This ensures any shrinkage occurs now and not later on. And when you've done that we're going to take our pattern, locate our sizing on the back and when we have the perfect fit we're going to go and cut our pattern pieces. So let's go and do that together now. So here are our pattern pieces. So here is your front for C, D and E. You're going to cut one on the fold here, here is the waistline. This is where you lengthen or shorten. Make a note of your bust point, so your dart here and your notches and these circles. This is your back, you're going to cut two, this is a straight grain. Make a note of the notches and the circles. Here we have the sleeve, see? You're going to cut two, here's your straight grain, make a note of these circles and these circles here. And here we have the elastic guide for C, you're going to cut two of these. Now we're ready to begin making our top. So first of all you want to wind half of your thread onto your machine spool, then make sure that your machine needle is sharp. Now I'm using a universal standard size needle 70 today for this fabric. You may wish to try this on a piece of scrap fabric before you begin. Now when you've done that we're going to take our front piece and we're going to stay stitch along the front edge. We do this 1.3 centimetres away from the raw edge. So let's do that now. Now we're going to create our darts. So here we have our bus point, this marking here, and we have these two markings at the side. So here we're going to bring these together with right sides facing, pinch it, and you can pin it at this point before you begin. And we're going to sew towards this point here. So you want to do this gradually, you don't want to come off too suddenly. Stitching from the outside towards the point, run off and let the thread run free. Knot it here and push your knot down towards the dart. Now turn under the hem allowance on the neck to form a narrow hem so you'll have your stay stitching and this can act as sort of a guide so you turn it under and turn it under again you can also press this before you begin if you wish so now you're going to put your two back pieces together with right sides facing like this now as you can see I've edge finished my raw edges, you may wish to do the same at this point. So you can either overlock or zigzag stitch, whichever you prefer. And now we're going to pin it first of all before stitching, matching this centre point here. So you have three notches at the back seam here. Pin it all the way down to the bottom hem. Now we're going to stitch that in place with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. Now one thing to remember if you are edge finishing, 
by overlocking is that you take off the tiniest amount and you will need to adjust your seam allowance by a few millimetres. So if you've taken a few millimetres off with the overlocker, you want to reduce your seam accordingly. So to 1.3 or 1.2. Now that you have your back panels together, you can narrow stitch a hem at the back neck in the same way that you did the front. So you can press under a small amount first of all, like this, and turn it under. Now at my centre back point here, I'm going to add in a Minerva Makeup label. So these say hashtag Minerva Makeup on the back, and I'm going to add that just now as I'm hemming the back neck. So place it central and just catch it in as I go past. At this point you're going to pin your front piece to your back piece at the side seam like this, matching your notches and your underarm point and then stitch it in place with a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance again allowing for if you've overlocked the seam so reduce slightly if you've taken some off with the overlocker now on the bottom of your sleeve you're going to turn under a narrow hem in the same way that you did your neckline and hem it so I've pressed mine under first, six millimetres, and I'm turning it in again. Now press under 1.5 along the upper edge to form a casing. So you want to turn under six millimetre, press it in. To, you've got your 1.5 centimetre turned under here like this. Press it first and then we're going to stitch that along here and it's going to create a casing for our elastic. So let's stitch that now. Cut two pieces of elastic the length of your elastic guide and when you've done this you're going to insert it through your casing now you can use a safety pin or you can use a bodkin. When you get to the end, you need to make sure that your raw edges are even with the raw edges of the fabric and then you're going to baste across each end to keep it secure. Now you're going to pin your sleeve part to your neck part. So here is your front neck and here is the front side of your sleeve and the front of your neck. So these are right sides facing, here is the underarm edge here, and here is our elastic. So these two points go together here, match the circles, pin in place, line up this point here with your marking, and then the same on the back. So make sure that you've got it the right way and you haven't got it twisted when you do this. Do the same on the back. Now you're going to take your bias tape, open it out flat and press it, then fold it in half and press it in half like this. When you've done this, you're going to pin it to your arm edge. Now let a little hang over when you do this. You're going to pin it in place you're going to stitch this with a one centimetre seam and you can also clip the curve as you go around. And this will help when we stitch on the other side. So pin it in position first of all, catching in your sleeve there. Next 
just turn your bias tape to the inside and here where it overlaps a little you can fold that under the seam like this pin it in position all the way along under the armhole and now you're going to stitch on the edge of there now you can do this from the outside or the inside I prefer to do it from the inside because you've got this nice line here to follow so that's up to you but we're going to stitch that in place now Now mark up your hem length and press it under. Now I'm doing a double fold so there's 3.5 centimetres allowed. So try it on and check what's best for you before you begin. So here is the finished dress. Long length. Now I've made this one in a size 16 and my mannequin is a smaller one so it is a more fitted shape than it looks on my mannequin. Well I hope you've enjoyed sewing along with me today. This has turned out a beautiful dress and I really love the sleeve details. If you make this again why not try one of the other versions? Maybe try it in a cotton, a silk, a rayon or maybe a crepe fabric or any of our other Minerva exclusive viscose chalet fabrics. Have you made this pattern before? Please let us know in the comments below along with any photographs. We love to see what you've been making. Remember you can join the Minerva Craft Club to get 10% off all your orders for a whole year. And why not create a free account to join in our wonderful worldwide sewing community? And that's all completely free. If you like what I'm wearing today, this is another exclusive Visco Chalet fabric and this one is called Retro Rockery and this particular top is a style art top, the Courtney one. I will tag these products below also in case you wish to make this item. Remember to like and follow Minerva to get more video content like this every week and I hope to be back soon with another sew along for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.